In this video, we're going to talk about how to add and subtract radicals. And you may not know that you already know how to add and subtract radicals, but chances are you do know. All right, let's take a quick look back and talk about how we would have added and subtracted like terms back in the day. So this is a side note, so I'll put it down here. If we had something like this, 5x plus 1 plus 3x minus 4. Well, we would know that here and here are like terms, so we could add those numbers to get 8x. And the 1 and the 4 are also like terms, so we could subtract 1 minus 4, and we, we would get negative 3. Working with like terms is exactly like working with like radicals. So what exactly is a like radical? Well, a like radical is a number that has the same exact index, so let's say this is 3, or index there is 3, and the same exact radicand, so let's say our radicand is 7. Um, so if we have one number with that index and radicand, and we had another number, let's say 3, with the same index and the same radicand, these are like terms. This is exactly like saying 1x plus 3x. But in this case, it's not 1x plus 3x. It is instead 1 root cube root 7 plus 3 cube root 7. Same idea, however. So 1 cube root 7 plus 3 cube root 7. 1 cube root 7 plus 3 cube root 7 is equal to 4 cube root 7. So again, as long as we have the same index, and radicon, we can add and subtract freely. Let's try another one. So that was an example. Let's try another example. All right. So 5 square root of 3 plus 9 square root of 3 plus 2 cube root of 3. So I'm trying to mess with your head here. There is something wrong here. Can we add this? Well, first you have to ask yourself, is there the same root and the same index and radicand? Well, we have an index here of 2, if you can't see it, and it's square root, so our index is 2 here. Our index is 2 here, but our index here is 3, and that is no good, so we can't add all three of these. However, can we add these two? Let's see, same index, same radicand. Yes, we can totally add this term and this term. So let's do it. We get here, 5 root 3 plus 9 root 3 gives us 14 root 3. Again, it's just saying, it's like saying 5 apples plus 9 apples. It gives us 14 apples. But we can't add it to our oranges. Wow, it's loud out there. Because that's a whole, that's not a like radical. All right, so what do we do? Do we just leave it off? Absolutely not. Now we have to just say 2. We just put it back because it's not a like radical. So it can sit there by itself. And that's how we add. Now, as far as subtraction, same rules apply. We can add and subtract like radicals. Okay, good. So. Here, we have two terms, and we're being asked to add them, and they're not like radicals. Uh, does that mean we should move on and say, okay, well, I'm done with this question. I can't do it. They're not like. Absolutely not. You want to make sure before you move forward that your radicals are in the simplest possible terms. So let's go over briefly how to simplify radicals, and then we can see whether or not they can be added. So we have here root 8 plus root 98. All right, well, root 8, we're going to look for if we have any factors of 8 that can be rooted. And right off the bat, I know that 4 can be rooted. So I'm going to do root 4 times 2 plus. I'm going to ask ourselves the same questions for root 98. And while we can break 98 into two factors, one of which is 49, which can be rooted. So this is really root 4, root 2. According to our properties of radicals, we are totally allowed to do that. Plus 
root 49 root 2, which gives us 2 root 2 plus 7 root 2. Now we can ask ourselves, is this, are these like radicals? Well, we have square roots, or index is square root, and or radicand is 2 in both cases. These are actually like radicals. So we can go ahead and add these up, and we get 7 root 2 plus 2 root 2. We have 9 root 2. All right, let's take a look at one more example, this time dealing with a fraction. Okay, so in this case, right away, we know that this is not simplified because we have a radicand here and a radicand here, and they're both fractions, and that's not allowed. We are not allowed to have fractions in our radicands. They're, they're just not simplified. So we have to simplify it and then figure out if we can add or not. Okay, so let's review how to simplify this. Um, according to our properties, root 32 over 3 is just root 32 over root 3. Still not okay because we're not supposed to have a radical in the denominator, so it will need further simplification, and that's fine. Plus root 2 over root 3. All right, to simplify this, we have to multiply the bottom by root 3 so we can get the radical out. Whatever we do to the bottom, we have to do to the top. Same over here and to the top. All right, so at the top, we have root 32 times root 3, which is just root 32 times 3 over root 3 times root 3. I'll skip a step here. Just remember, you're really doing root 9, which is just 3. So we don't have to write both steps. All right. And then we have here root 2 times root 3, which is root 2 times 3, over 3. All right. Getting warmer. So now root 32 times 3 is actually root 96 over 3 plus root 6 over 3. All right, we're running out of space, so we have to find a way to make this work. All right, so we have, let's split the page here and work here. All right, so root 96, can that be simplified? Is there a number, a factor of 96 with a perfect square root? There is, in fact, and it is 16. So root 96 is actually root 16 times hmm, root 6 over 3 plus, and we're not changing this for now, root 6 over 3. Okay, almost there. Now root 16 is actually 4. So we can have here... 4 root 6 over 3 plus root 6 over 3. Now, from what we know from addition of fractions, we need a common denominator. And fortunately, we already have a common denominator. It's 3. So on the top here, we have 4 root 6 plus 1 root 6. All right, so now 4 root 6 plus 1 root 6 are those like radicals? Yes, they are. The index is the same. The radicand is the same. So 4 root 6 plus, six plus 1 root 6 will give us 5 root 6 over 3. And that's our simplified addition answer or sum. <laughs> All right, cool.